Hello everybody and welcome back! Today we're playing Two Point Hospital. Man, I've been so excited for this game. Uh, we played through the tutorial before, off camera. Now we're playing the actual game. Oh, staff qualifications. So now we can, we can train people. Let's do this. So we have our sort of like basic, basic place. Oh my God, the map looks fantastic. Uh, and we've got to build a psychiatric room. Or a psychiatry room. That's that's how what people say. It's my GP's office. Oh, I like that. Okay, that's kind of good. Uh, so right, rooms, psychiatry. Let's get this going. Uh, so, like, I'm not sure if you guys ever played the original Theme Hospital. Man, that was one of my favorite games. Actually, I don't like this room placement at all. Let's just uh, let's just get that going again. Oh, I do like kind of having the rooms a bit more like misshapen, although probably not ideal. Okay, let's let's just go like this. Bam! We've got this cool little little room, and it, oh, I got a prestige bonus. So we need a door. Uh, maybe give them like a window. You know, because it's like psychiatry. It's like a window into the soul, and. We're giving giving them this, so right. Let's let's kind of like jazz this up. So I just discovered that you don't even have to, you don't have to kind of like super hardcore set it to a grid. You can like freely rotate if you want to, and I like that. That's kind of fun. Let's have them by the window, you know, so people can kind of like look outside and remember remember the heady days of before they were in psychiatry. You can have a bin, a plant. Plants are very calming. Let's have that right next to the people. An aircon? Do you want aircon in here? Because you want to be cool when you're, you know, letting your letting your soul out. Bam. We did it. Man, oh, that's a nice looking room, those wood paneled walls. I'd like a room like that. Like a, like a drinking room. Higher. Okay, doctors. Psychiatry. This guy. Michael Tornado, amazing. What a name. Michael Tornado, you're here to save the day. And uh, let's just get this, get this going. Okay, so, right, we've got a, a doctor, Dr. Ellie Rancid, oh God. Uh, she's in charge of, you know, just being the GP, the general practitioner. And over here, Michael Tornado, uh, who is just the best fucking guy ever. And we have some people coming in. Coming into play. Aurora Black. Oh my god, Aurora Black is pretty fancy. They're a bit like a, a black Freddie Mercury. It's a good, it's got a good, good jive going on. Okay, right, we've got a straight up just, this is Freddie Mercury. I want to break free. Uh, do you want some more like chairs and stuff? I feel like maybe if we get a, like a drinks machine, like a snacks machine, maybe, can we get? Right, salty snacks. Because then we'll make more money off of our drinks, because people will get thirsty. Okay, right. These guys, they're having like a little chat. They're seeing what's going down. Look, he's kind of glancing out the window, seeing these lovely trees. Looking at this plant. Ah, oh, sweet. 5,000 bucks. Okay, that is perfect. <gasps> oh! Okay. Turns out they weren't black. So let's just kind of like start plugging some stuff in. We could do with a, like a nice, a nice room like this. A, you know what I mean, a staff room. Should we make it like a weird shape again? I kind of like these sort of weird shapes. They sort of add a bit more, you know, a bit more to the hospital. And what do they want? Like a sofa. Oh, a television. Over here, so you can sit on the sofa and do that. We'll give them like an armchair as well. Uh, lockers? Do they want some lockers? You know, so they can put their stuff in? Sure. And uh, we'll give them a bin. Maybe we need some bins out here as well. Because right now, otherwise, people are going to be just throwing their trash everywhere. There we go. One like that. Bam. Okay, so now now the staff have got somewhere to hang out. I think that 
that will be perfect. Okay, new illness. Mockstar. So they've got to go to psychiatry to get rid of that. And verbal diarrhea. The disease. People can't stop talking about it. Verbal diarrhea spreads fast and can be heard for miles. Okay, so what do we need? A pharmacy. Sure. Patient, wait. And we will get you your pharmacy. Um, man, I kind of... I feel like I'm, I'm going to kind of get rid of this stuff. As it's kind of like blocking. Blocking a lot of stuff. You know, that's a, that's some good real estate right there. No, something like that. That will be fine. And then we still have some space for actual, you know, things. Um, right, we've got the drug mixer. Uh, is it on the plant as well? Sure. There we go. And we're probably going to need a nurse. Wow, this guy's already on it. Uh, who do you want? Right. Diagnostic. Pharmacy. Bam. Get in there. What a pro. Who are you? Oh, Pandora Pigot. Uh, and we need to put some seats down again because we did just kill all of the benches. Should we just like have like a line? Right, people are getting cured. Amazing. Bungle Technology has given us access to their latest technology. A pharmacy drug mixer upgrade. And a general diagnosis easy scan machine. Wow. Right, so we need a janitor who's an engineer. Wow, this guy's like a super, super maintenance guy. Well, you're in. Come and join us. Upgrade it. Estimated time. Wow, 37 days. Jesus. If we do that, let's see what happens. Okay, right. What are, what are you in for? You need a ward. Okay, we can we can get a ward for you. I'm up for that. This seems like a good plan. Uh, just get like a really big one, actually. Why not, man? Because you want like a ward to be nice and like nice and big. Uh, sure, something like that. And we can have like the little desk there. People can get changed right next to the nurse, so she can make sure they're not like sneaking. Sneaking stuff that you're not allowed in the ward into there. Um, and... Sure, like that. So those guys, they can, like, super hang out. They can be best friends. Um, and... Sure. <laughs> Why not? Bam! That's a, that's a big... That's a big ward. Uh, can we get some more windows in here? Um... Okay, right, we can't, we're not allowed to do that. Let's give them some plants. Hopefully they don't have allergies. That was quite a sneeze, Megan. Thanks. Pow, holy shit, you see, they like, fucking fired those guys right out there. Uh, and then, pow, another nurse? Pow, Tilly Sofa, hire, you're in. That. All seems gravy. We've got someone, they're coming in. Look, he's in there. She's keeping an eye. Oh, oh, maybe that's just a computer breaking. And I guess our new new ward person. Oh, look, there's that like little bedpan. Oh, I like that he wears his hat to bed. That's, that's fun. Okay, why is she going so nuts? What's wrong? Tilly, right? Uh, so we're still upgrading our machine and it's almost done. Clary. Clary Credible. Okay, she's like pretty handy with that wrench. Are they done? Nice. We did it. The drug mixer 5000. Uh, great, the machine's upgraded. Uh, make sure we've got some fire extinguishers around. Okay, sure. Uh, I feel like a few fire extinguishers makes total sense. Um, as I don't really want the stuff catching fire. I don't want the fire extinguisher in like line of sight of the person as they're getting, you know, getting cured because that's just gonna stress you out. If you can see the fire extinguisher, then you're gonna be worried like, oh, are we likely to catch fire? Holy shit, what happened to your head? Bro, you're facing the wrong way. I think he was in some kind of Dalek cosplay competition and this is his, this is his go. Exterminate! 
Oh, okay. Right, we can buy like a plot over there, a plot there. Oh, like a mega plot. So we're a bit low on cash right now, so we'll see. Uh, we can construct new hospital buildings. Okay, right, we worked that out. Upgrading machines, we've got that too. Is the the pans lab? Is that a thing? Oh, okay, right. That okay, I get I get what they're saying. It's for the dudes with pans on their heads. Well, or or ladies. Anyone. Anyone can have a pan on their head. Sure, we'll have it like that big. Then we've got some space. Oh geez, okay, right, because you need the mega machine. And I guess we'll give them a fire extinguisher and a plant, just for good measure. Perfect. Uh who needs to work here? Is it a doctor? Is it a nurse? They're only really good. Ah, oh, Titus Dickens. You're hired. We are kind of like smashing through our money pretty quickly. And should we get some more, more benches and stuff over here? We could do like a kind of fancier bench setup. How do you guys feel about, about like this? Perfect. Okay, right. There we go. Look, we've, Got in the exact same amount of benches that we probably would have been able to get in, but I kind of like it. And sure. Drinks machine, snacks machine, a bin. We've got a bit of everything over here. And we can even get like a plant or two. Yeah, that's kind of nice. It makes this like thoroughfare a bit busy, but that's okay. Um. Oh, these guys. I didn't ever give them a plant in their their room. Let's just give them like a little little plant menagerie in the very center. Do these guys want like an extra plant? Okay. Uh, the hospital isn't covering its cost. We should consider lowering our outgoings or making more money. I think it's because we've been spending a lot of cash. You gotta spend money to make money, right? That's how I always see it. Uh, stuff challenge from Donald Doom. I don't know about you, but I find the relentless stream of death somewhat depressing. Do you think we could go a few months without any fatalities? It's me, Donald Doom. <laughs> okay, Donald, the janitor. Uh, sure, 90 days without a death. Okay, a new illness, Bogwarts. Our doctors have discovered a new illness, Bogwarts. Uh, so they've got to go to a pharmacy. Sure, that sounds easy enough. Right, well, I've got a lot of pan guys kind of coming around. Maybe we even want like another GP because we're, we're kind of getting a bit of a backlog. Sure, okay. Um, and just come slap bang into the center of the room. Okay, I like this. Symmetry is very, very important. And can we even, like, take off these corners? Nice. Okay, that's very... This is... The Feng Shui is powerful in this room. They can have, like, aircon too. And, like, a poster? Do they want anything else? I can buy other stuff. How much... K points do I have? 470. It says down here. Weighing scales? Is that good? Decorative fight? A big bin. Hand sanitizers? Oh, coffee maker. That sounds really good for the, the staff room. Okay, right. I feel like, you know, you want to get the guys really cranked up on coffee. There you go. Perfect. Uh, and there you go. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Uh, Donald Doom. <laughs> I don't know why Donald Doom has quite that accent, but we, we're sticking with it now. Okay, right. Diagnostic skills, bedside manner. Uh, sure, Dicky Tingle. You're hired. And we should probably get some more seating. Like, you always want there to be ample, ample supplies of seats everywhere. And then this, this leaves us enough room to kind of like jam a couple more rooms into this before we have to buy something else. Right, what's going on here? New illness. Uh-oh. Porter's head. Okay. They get treatment in the ward. Perfect. And, oh, the pandemic has been discovered. So, they... They're going to the pan's lab. 
the more people that we have going to our pan's lab, the better. All right, how are they doing? Who's this like shady character? Uh, okay, he's, he's gonna go over to our ward. That's good. Uh, uh oh, someone with lightheadedness. We need to get the Deluxe Clinic. Um, can we fit one in here? That would be great. That That's exactly where I want it. And have like this little guy. They can have a fire extinguisher as well. And you know what? Let's give them the classic fire extinguisher plant combo. Great. So now we can treat like this guy with his light bulb head. Which, it seems kind of impractical, you know. I'm glad that he came to us. I don't feel like you really need to waste the time of one of our GPs to work out what your problem is, because you do have a giant light bulb for a head. You know, it's kind of not not the most subtle problem. Oh, do we need to hire more doctors? Uh, doctor, what's your thing? Good at treatment, good at psychiatry, general practice. Troy Eggman. You're in. And we're doing kind of okay for money. It could be worse. So we, we built a whole load of stuff. So we're down. But we are making more money now. Okay. Oh, I kind of like this. We've got a good layout. <gasps> Shit, although there's rubbish here. What are you doing? Get that sweeping brush. Uh, maybe, we, do we need more bins? I feel like we've got a lot of bins. We're fairly bin heavy, um, and I think we need another nurse. Pete Bork! <laughs> yeah, I reckon Pete Bork is like, bam, you're in. So you can work in the pharmacy. We've got someone over here. Or maybe like our spare nurse, she was taking a break. But you know, I think having it so they can take breaks seems like a good idea. Uh oh, lightheaded emergency. Cure seven patients with lightheadedness. Um Yeah, we'll we'll do that. Look, we've got we've got the room. That's fine. Uh, oh, that was a sad sad noise. Um Oh that goes heartbroken. We couldn't we couldn't solve it. Treatment failed. Oh Feeling too cold? Shit, it's because we've got the aircon in here. My therapist says that's that's not good. Find a hobby. So we're still a one-star hospital. Uh, we've almost succeeded 90 days dealing with um, Dr. Doom, or whatever he was called. Donnie Doom. Donald Doom! <laughs> the Doomborn. <laughs> wow, this is like the third Doomborn brother. They're replacing his light bulb head. Bam. With a new head. Or is that a girl? Who knows? Okay, so we've got some people. Man, maybe we even need, like, more. More of these, like, light bulb places. Look how many of them there are. Uh oh. Oh, are we completed Donald Doom's challenge of not letting anyone die? I don't know if we're gonna, gonna be able to do this in time. We might need a second light bulb head finishing clinic but seems to be going okay they're a bit fidgety huh oh they really wants to go next winston dobson vip oh my god okay right actually we're probably gonna do it we're, we're about halfway through and we're, we're kind of curing these guys up that seems good oh no shit someone died wait we replaced their head but did we give them the wrong head um just leave the hospital. Don't die on hospital grounds, please. Fuck. Right, challenge from Donald Doom. Donald Doom! <laughs> uh, we completed it. Oh wait, we failed to complete it. Go 90 days without a death. I thought we did go 90 days. Shit. 